Hello, hello, we are live. Welcome, it's Helen here from HelenMartinOnline.com and look, I've got a very special guest with me, Fernie Savias. How are you today? Thank you so much for joining me. You're very welcome, Helen. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate uh, you introducing me to your audience. I'm really excited. Oh, it's um, absolutely excited to have you here, part of my community. If you're jumping on live, please tune in and say hello. Tell us where you're coming in from. Say hello to Fernie. Um, and if you're catching the replay later, just put the word replay down below um, so we I can give you a shout out sort of later. I would like to acknowledge that Fernie is a little bit under the weather, so extra appreciative of you being on live here with me today. I'm sure you'd rather be resting. Um, but Fernie, I wanted to bring you on because you're one of my mentors. You've had a huge impact with, um, you know, me and my business. Um, hey, Leslie, how are you? Hey, Rob, thank you for joining us. Uh, please say hello to Fernie. And, um, you know, I know that you have, uh, well, we refer to you as the godfather of attraction marketing, Fernie. I'm sure you've heard that sort of term before, but, you know, where you came from and what what you found with attraction marketing and what that's led to you in your life is is really powerful. And I did hear from another interview that you, um, you know, you're responsible for almost $20 million uh, of income with your online journey, which is amazing. So I, I just wanted to bring you on to talk to my community and share with them your wisdom, um, you know, the legend that you are in this space, um, you know, and you've taught me a lot and I'd like to, you know, for other people to learn from you, um, you know, and hear your message about what attraction marketing has done for, for you. So, um, you know, once again, appreciate your time and would you mind just giving us a bit of background as to, you know, where you came from and how you found attraction marketing? Yeah, so let's start when, where I was born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, I'm not kidding. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, I, was, I was born in, in Los Angeles, uh, East Los Angeles. I was born to immigrant parents, Mexican-American. And, uh, you know, I... We, you know, as all like many immigrants coming to America, uh, there's the, the thing of the American dream, and you know, what, you know the possibilities that exist in, in this uh, awesome, awesome country. And so, the formula that we're taught is is go to school, get good grades, so you can get a good job. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, it'd be, and it'd be very hard to find a person that followed that formula, you know, more closely than, than myself. Um, you know, I grew up in a poor area, but fortunately, I had incredible parents and an amazing family upbringing and uh, I stayed out of trouble instead of joining gags I, I <laughs> stuck in my books and, and um, long story short I did really well in school I was a nerd <laughs> and uh, and I was accepted to, to go to school at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology uh, so MIT for short uh, and if you don't know what that is it's the most prestigious uh, technical institution in the world uh, technical college in the world when it comes to science and engineering, and uh, it's extremely difficult to get into. You know, the you know it's a dream school for for so many uh, nerds out there, and so I had the privilege of going there. So so you know so getting good grades, check. Go to good good get a, go to a good school, you know, double check. And so you know, out of that, I was told that you know the world is my oyster now. I can pretty much going to be able to do whatever I want. I was told that on my way there. I was told that while there. That, that you know we're you know we, we have it made and so graduating from there I went to go school went to go work in the aerospace industry and I worked on top secret space stuff for, for the government and, and so and you think and I was paid well compensated well for that and you think that that was you know that there I made it mm. um, and that's that was the perception from most people in my family friends etc except I wasn't happy or fulfilled I hated it um, I, within two days of you know going to work in the aerospace industry I realized that this is not what I wanted to do for the rest of my life and immediately my mind shifted towards figuring out how to get out of it how to get out of my job and um, you know for you know I, I, I didn't know what to do two years later uh, I ended up going back to school you know and again what we're taught is if you want to make a big change in your life you go back to school and so that's what I defaulted to. Um, fortunately, that was actually one of the better decisions I've ever made. Uh, you know, not that 
anything prior wasn't good. It's just it wasn't leading me towards what I wanted. I went back to school and started doing really well in grad school. But while there, I met somebody who a year after I met him uh, was the first person to introduce me to network marketing. And uh, he invited me to, to a meeting, a business meeting at his house. And I thought it was a meeting to like launch some sort of internet startup or tech startup <laughs> yeah. or something yeah. out of Silicon Valley. So I was excited to go. I was like, oh, wow, okay, I'm going to start a company now. That's cool. That definitely will get me <laughs> out of my job. And it ended up being a meeting where somebody was drawing circles in the shape of a pyramid. And I'm like, is this a pyramid deal? And, uh, and, and so I really did not want to do network marketing. You know, nothing about it uh, appealed to me at all. Um, I didn't want to be selling vitamins. I didn't want to do any of it. And for the, some reason, I ended up joining. And, there, and I think the reason I ended up joining is because I so desperately wanted to get out of my job mm. that, uh, you know, it was the only time somebody had ever offered me a way out of that job. And even though I knew network marketing was going to be painful, there was the promise of being able to one day have financial freedom. So despite all the things I did not like about it, I, you know, jumped into it, you know, hook, line, and sinker, and I uh, had additional, you know, success in network marketing. I, I was able to recruit uh, pretty well. I, I had this ability to be able to recruit, and also I leveraged my credibility, uh, my background, and I so I recruited about, uh, you know, about 20 people into my organization, and then they, they uh, recruited a few other people. Uh, but then quickly things uh, unraveled because I wasn't, a, they weren't able to duplicate me, uh, I didn't know that any special skills were required to be effective at network marketing. Therefore, I didn't know how to teach them because I didn't know I had any special skills to do well in network marketing. And, um, you know, I, I was never taught that the skills of network marketing were, were so serious that it would be considered a profession. Mm. Uh, you know, everyone kept saying that, that it's not, you know, it's not selling, it's sharing and really downplaying the amount of skill that somebody needs to be successful in network marketing. And that was, you know, my first experience in network marketing. And I got pretty tired of people, you know, uh, you know, almost like, uh, you know, insulting your intelligence and telling you that you're, you know, you're not, you don't have to know anything special or be anything special. Cause I mean, if you're going to make them, you know, six figures or a million dollars in anything, uh, you got to work pretty hard and you got to be a talented individual. And so that was just logic. And, um, Fortunately, you know, uh, about nine months into that journey, I found uh, a website that, you know, promised to teach me how to build my network marketing business online. I, you know, registered for that uh, website. I bought a book um, that was written by my mentor, Mike Dillard, and I got to, you know, learn from his partner, Tim Merway, who is now my business partner, uh, mm -hmm. you know, 12 years later. And that was the first time I was introduced to attraction marketing. And that's pretty much what completely, you know, changed the course of my, not only my, my network marketing career, but my entire life. You know, two years after that, uh, I was able to quit my job. Uh, shortly after that, I became a six-figure earner in my network marketing company. I uh, was doing multiple six figures in total income. Uh, within a few years after that, I had my first uh, million dollar a year. And since then, like you said, uh, Ellen, I've been responsible for over $20 million in income into my home businesses. And it was as a result of, you know, that, I guess, two choices. One, getting into network marketing despite wanting nothing to do with it. And two, finding attraction marketing and, and finding what was truly, I thought, a better way. So mm. that's the short story. <laughs> yeah, what I, what I find intriguing is how many people really don't like network marketing, but there's something, there's a little fire, there's a little desire, there's a little um, just a, you know, maybe this might work. Um, and the amount of people I meet like yourself and Tim, I've interviewed Tim, he said something very similar that, um, you know, when I first got introduced to network marketing, I didn't want a bar of it. Um, and right. I, I, I fought, um, you know, looking, looking into it, but um, you know, if you've got that desire for something different, something more and, you know, just trying it. But I, I not to the degree you have, you're obviously a very, very intelligent. How many people? Um, oh, sorry, that was me. I was just looking at her life. 
Yeah, no, okay, to see where they're live. And I'd just like to acknowledge, um, you know, hey, Rob, hey, Leslie, hey, Julie, and another Julie. Um, you know, it's great to see you on live. Please send Bernie some likes and loves, um, you know, and, and say hello to, to him. It, it's just an absolute pleasure to have him on live with us today. Um, but that, you know, when you have some success in network marketing and you think you're doing well, but then everybody leaves, that, that was my sort of story and that's when I came across, um, you know, your resource and this thing about attraction marketing and it just, it makes a, a massive difference and it's a lot more pleasurable as well. So for those that are listening, what would you say is the biggest difference, Fernie, in building your business the traditional way and building your business through attraction marketing strategies? Like what what's so cool about attraction marketing how did it make such a powerful impact you know for you to be able to do as well as you did and earn as much money as you have well uh first and foremost what, what attracted me to attraction marketing was that um it was skills based you know when i my mentors didn't lie to me and, and tell me that i didn't I, I had to do things that take no skill duplicatable in order to be effective I was told I need to learn certain skills and become really good and master them, become really good at them. So that was the first thing. It was the first time anyone had ever uh, shown me in business a process for creating success and a process that made logical sense, that it wasn't based on hype, it wasn't based on uh, luck or, or the numbers game of like the more people you prospect, the more people you'll, you'll join your business. Um, it was, it, it, it took a, even though you still had to learn and there were still mistakes to be made, you knew clearly the direction you were heading in and the, the skills you had to learn. Mm. The, and also the skills didn't require you to have home meetings, home parties, talk to strangers in public, uh, you know, one-on-ones at coffee shops. You mean it, uh, it didn't require me to like look at everybody that I ran into on a day-to-day, -day, uh, basis, uh, like a, a target for my prospecting efforts. You know, I no longer required that agenda in the back of my head with every mm. conversation because uh, I was able to, like, now market my business like a professional business would uh, and, and then, you know, attract people to me. I was able to target people online that were looking for, for specifically what I had, what I could offer. Um, and so, so the beautiful thing about attraction marketing is that it was the process-oriented skill that gave me a roadmap. It was also based on, on, you know, science, you know, because marketing is, is, there's a lot of psychology involved. And, uh, and then when you use that psychology, what ends up happening is you're able to actually uh, create predictable results that will, will, over time, continue to happen. Once you acquire a skill, you can continue to use these skills to continue to generate prospects, not only to generate prospects and have people to talk to, but you eventually develop, you start developing a following and a brand. Mm. And that following you can always pull from as many times as you want to bring people into your business, to create new customers, to create new clients for what, whatever it is um, they got on your list uh, for to begin with. And so the idea of being able to create a following, create that unfair advantage that, that some people in network marketing have, even before I was successful in network marketing, that, that was pretty powerful for me. So not only was I able to first start with getting prospects, uh, I was able to now build a following that I can pull from, and even the people that say no to my opportunity or weren't even interested to begin with at all, I was able to offer them other things that covered my, my cost of doing business. So my auto ship was paid for, my uh, tools that I invested in was paid for, Tickets and travel for events was paid for even before anyone would join my business. And so, you know, that's, those were just some of the, the benefits of doing attraction marketing. And I was able to, again, do it all from home. And my life essentially went back to normal. And mm -hmm. my friends were no longer creeped out by my <laughs> sense of talk, incessant talking about my business. I, uh, you know, I pretty much, uh, when I, upon finding attraction marketing, I never talked about it, about my business ever again unless somebody specifically asked me. And even when they would ask me, I would give very short answers and quickly move on. I no longer had any desire, uh, nor did I want to, you know, talk about my business with any of my friends and family. It was it was it was pretty awesome. So 
Yeah, I think that's one of the powerful things about attraction marketing is finding those pre-qualified people. So the people that you're talking to and, um, you know, attracted to you have already put up their hand to some respect that they want to talk to you. You're not walking around the local restaurant or supermarket thinking, you know, that mind-consuming thing you're talking about before. <laughs> I wonder if I should talk to them. Um, you know, I wonder if I, you know, they'd be interested in my business and just that it's all consuming. And, you know, the, the hotel meetings or the parties and those kind of, I think that's what makes network marketing really challenging for people. So, you know, from what I'm hearing in what you're saying is that um, the whole sort of purpose and intent behind attraction marketing is that you can be at home, you can truly build your home-based business from home and you build your brand and your profile online so you learn to attract those people to you so then you don't need to chase your family um, and friends, correct? Yeah. 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 I mean, the, you conduct yourself like a real business. I mean, uh, you know, what business, you know, conducts itself like network marketing does in the traditional way? Like what other industry does that? Uh, you know, you know, it, it just, it doesn't make sense. If you want to be a real business and, and create the, the leverage of a real business, you got to start operating like a real business. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so that's, you know, it, it just made sense to me that I could learn a few skill sets. I can run promotions through social media, through Facebook. And I don't even mean for my personal profile, create an actual business page and use that the way it was intended to Facebook actually create as a wonderful platform for, for doing business and, attracting customers um so it just even using my personal profile you know i, I don't want to do that either i don't use my personal profile for business i know a lot of people do and if you do and it's working for you great but i wanted to separate my business life from my personal life as much as possible mm. and attraction marketing allowed me to do that and you know just not only get my life back but actually create more success that i could ever have created doing it the old school way uh, with, you know, traditional methods in network marketing. It's just, it's, you know, the other thing that attraction marketing offers, it allows you to be efficient, allows you to leverage technology um, and automate what you can and be more efficient with what you can't, as opposed to spending the hours it takes to, if you meet somebody for a one-on-one -on -one at a coffee shop, well, the time to get there, the time you're there, the time to come back, that's a lot of time to be spending on just one prospect. Mm. You know, uh, you know, attraction marketing teaches us how to like not only create a following, but how to invite that following to a webinar. So you have a few dozen, a few hundred, or even a few thousand people on a single webinar where you could present and talk about whatever you want and they're a captive audience and they know, like, and trust you. Mm. Um, you know, if you guys let me know in the comment section, if you've ever observed somebody in your organization or in your upline or in your company, somebody join all of a sudden who was already successful in their life. They knew a lot of people. They were a successful business person or whatever. They knew a lot of people. They were well connected and they made it, send a few emails, a few texts, uh, got people to their house and signed up a few dozen or a few hundred people right away. If, if that's ever happened, drop a number two in the comment mm. section. Um, cause I've seen it. I've seen successful people that already had credibility. They already had people they knew like, that, that knew like and trusted them. And, uh, and they were able to produce, you know, instant results in their, in their organization. And that's something that was particular to them. Not everybody can do that. So I call that the unfair advantage. Mm -hmm. It's the same unfair advantage that somebody successful already in network marketing has. If they're already successful and earning money in network marketing, yes, it's easier for them to recruit into their business because they have the credibility and uh, you know that comes with success now what what's cool about attraction marketing is it allows you to create that type of advantage even before you yourself are successful in network marketing and that's what makes attraction marketing unique is that you're you're creating a following you're creating rapport and relationships with people online uh, around a topic related to business and you mostly are delivering value. You're, you're cultivating that following because I'm pretty sure those people that had that unfair advantage that I just spoke of, you know, the reason people are following them and, and, and they're trusting what they're doing is because th that person has probably, you know, added value to their lives as well. You know, mm -hmm. not only did they attract the following, they, you know, 
did things for that following, they invested in that following, whatever, whatever that relationship looked like, and they have results, they have success. Well, that's what essentially, uh, you know, creating a brand is. You create a following, uh, you, you have results, you pour value, you invest in that following, and, uh, and, and so that's, those three things are what's critical in a brand. Um, so you're doing exactly what that person does, did in their life, but you're doing it in a way where, where you don't have to be successful. You don't have to have any special background, but you do have to learn the skills of attraction marketing. And then within a matter of you know three to six months, you can start having a big enough following so that you can start leveraging it, start pulling from it, start generating customers, uh, creating new team, having new team members join you. And, uh, and the whole time you're covering your advertising costs because you have a following that you can continue to monetize regardless of whether they join you or not. And so it just, attraction marketing makes sense in so many ways and people have been doing it since as early as uh, 1999. And people don't know this, that attraction marketing existed even since the late 90s. And and now you see all these, you know, you know old school gurus that all of a sudden have been having a change of heart and saying, oh, I'm okay with the internet now. And, and they're, they're even mentioning the words attraction marketing but, you know, what's crazy is for the past 20 years, they've resisted it. They've railed yeah. against it. And I've been one of the few voices in this space over the past 12 years that, that was an advocate for it, that wanted to give people the opportunity that someone gave me, uh, you know, 12 years ago that completely changed my life. And so now it's my mission. I don't, you know, I don't think you should be following the people that are teaching things that they taught, you know, 20, 30 years ago. I think yeah. you should be following the people people like what we have, the leaders we have inside our community, uh, including you, Helen, that are on the cutting edge, that are constantly striving to innovate and, and that, are, that are researching, looking around to see how they can up their game as opposed to, you know, being the last to innovate like most people mm. in network marketing do. So, uh, you know, Helen, you're an incredible leader. You're impacting a lot of lives in our community. Uh, you're, you're one of our mentors in our community. And so... You know, if you're looking to learn how to get started with attraction marketing, look look no further than what Ellen's, uh, you know, guiding you on because uh, she's an incredible leader and, and is, you know, not too far into this journey but has already produced some incredible results. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, when, when I look for a mentor, I look for somebody that's just a little bit ahead of me. And the reason I look for somebody that's a little bit ahead of me and not somebody that's, like, too far ahead is because – you know, Ellen is in the trenches, testing, uh, optimizing, improving. I'm running kind of like a, a large organization, a big company, so I'm not, I'm not in the trenches. So the details of, of, of what you may need at this point in your business is not something I'm like fully engaged mm -hmm. anymore. And so uh, Ellen is in the trenches. She's in business building mode, and you want to be involved with a builder. And so, uh, so Ellen, thank you for, for having me on and, and, and doing this for everybody. Because I, I think, um, you know, people need leaders like yourself that are willing to, to help others, uh, you know, get started with attraction marketing and, and, and create this type of opportunity like I once did, like somebody once helped me. Yeah, and it's it's truly powerful. And it's one of the reasons why I wanted to to get you on, Fernie, is um, you know, just from the from the voice, from the man, from the godfather himself, you know, just sort of highlighting, you know, how powerful it is. And I, I would like to acknowledge, you know, some of the comments. Thanks, Rob and Leslie. Hello, Nicole. Hi Tammy, thank you for joining us and Shannon. Um, you know, please send Fernie some some likes and love for joining us today. Just one last question, Fernie, to wrap sure. this up. The so those people that are sitting there going, okay, I get it. I get the power of attraction marketing. I know I should be doing it. I want to do it because I'm sick of chasing my family and friends, but they've got all this stuff going on in their head. I'm not successful enough. I can't brand myself online. I don't have any results yet. Why would anyone listen to me? That's a, a lot of the thought processes that goes through yeah. network marketers. They're too scared to take that step forward in putting attraction marketing into place because they really doubt themselves. So mm -hmm. what advice would you give to that person that's having those thoughts in their mind? Yeah, so, well, you know, what Ellen and, and we do in our community is we, we – take you through three stages of growth. And, and those three just stages of growth are, are designed in a certain way because we know 
you're brand new. We know you don't have any skills, uh, business skills, marketing skills, none of that. We know that. And so we don't expect you to like, you know, overnight be a massive success and have mastery over traction marketing. What we do is we take you through three stages. The first stage I call the train wheels phase. And, and in that phase, we only focus you in on one thing, one, one activity, one skill you need to focus on and develop first. And we actually give you a system to take care of everything else. So the only, the only one activity we have you focus on is attraction. So attracting eyeballs. Mm -hmm. And we have you teach you ways of using Facebook uh, to like basically attract those eyeballs to a very targeted audience using sponsored posts. The only thing you're responsible for learning at that point is using sponsored posts to attract the eyeballs. That's it. Mm -hmm. And we show you some very simple actions on how to do that. And then those eyeballs are introduced to a system that we've already created that is an attraction marketing system that, that is already proven to convert. It's already, and what it does is it, 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 it it gives those eyeballs, those people that are, that are looking uh, for what you have, uh, it gives them value in exchange for their contact information. So they're going to sign up and go, hey, I'd like to learn more. And then now you have leads and prospects that you can follow up with. We also make offers to those people. So you can use the system to make offers to those people that are, that are, that's related to attraction marketing. So we're, we're not only uh, giving you a system where you can generate leads, but that system also offers to, uh, offers them books and courses on attraction marketing that they want to buy because they want to learn these skills too and so now when they when they buy some of those courses now you earn a commission so immediately we've just solved the two biggest problems in network marketing lack of prospects and no money so you have money in your pocket because that person is interested in learning attraction marketing just like you were and and number two you have those prospects to talk to some of those prospects this is prospects in the opportunity space. So some of them will already be involved in some things. Some of them will not be involved in anything, but they're looking. Some of them are in transition. They once were involved in something, something didn't work out, but they're positive about uh, the direct sales and network marketing space, and they're open to, to new opportunities. So you're going to be able to talk to people that are specifically interested or involved in network marketing, and all you have to do is basically just hear them out. And if they're happy where they're at, great. You just tell them, uh, well, you know, continue using the courses and systems that you're already you're in because they're already in the attraction marketing system. And and if they, if that person shows an openness to looking at something, then that then you obviously take them down the path of of your opportunity. You don't have to convince anybody. All you have to do is hear them out and go and and basically that'll tell you where they're at and what they'd be interested in and in getting. Either way, you're you have prospects and you're making money. So that's the you know training wheels phase is that we essentially have it all built for you and you only yeah. focus on one thing. Yeah. Uh, track the eyeballs and then be willing to talk to those people that come to the system. Phase two is we eventually stair step you and lead you, you know, slowly but surely to acquire the skills so you eventually create your own attraction marketing system that's branded to you. So now uh, you're not just creating relationships. By work, you know, talking on the phone and having chats with people, now you're creating more leverage relationships by growing an email list, growing a social media following, and so essentially now you're really growing your following and branding yourself as the leader, and you wean yourself over time. You wean yourself off of our system so that you can have your system uh, that's all about you and what you have to offer, and so we teach you how to do that and how to take over that a little piece at a time. Uh, it's again like eating elephant or eating cow. How do you yeah. eat it one bite at a time? And so we have, you know, the one bite at a time system to go from absolute newbie zero to mastering this attraction marketing concept without it being overwhelming. And so, so that's phase two, you know, taking over your list, creating that following, branding yourself. And what's going to happen is now you have that list. So instead of having to talk to everybody over the phone, now you can send an email inviting them to an online presentation uh, for those people on your list who are looking for an opportunity or are interested in working with you. You invite them on the webinar, and if they end up signing up for, for the webinar, then they've raised their hand and saying, I'm interested. And those that don't sign up, there's no issue because they, they're not introduced to the opportunity because they're not interested, and they're just happy being on your list because they gain value from you. And now once a month or twice a month, you have an opportunity presentation 
and you can do it in front of a few a few dozen people. Eventually, it's a few hundred people, and eventually, it just keeps growing from there every single month. So you never run out of prospects coming into your business. You're attracting people that are that are trained in attraction marketing as a result of what they've been through, and and so these are just higher quality leads, not just because they're interested mm -hmm. in what you have, but they're already trained on how to do it as well. And so that's the second phase. You're now recruiting people uh, from the internet, and none of this involves home meetings or home parties. Uh, it involves doing an online presentation, and if you want to do one-on-ones, guess what? You do it over the phone, or you do it on a Zoom call, like we're on now. Uh, and the final phase, what ends up happening is some of those people following you are people that are not just newbies in network marketing, they're experienced people in direct sales and network marketing. These are people that, uh, in some cases, they, they went into retirement, no longer uh, doing, a, doing a network marketing, but doing it passively. They just have a passive income. Or something, they're following you because they want to learn these attraction marketing skill sets, but maybe something happens to their company, or there's a reason why they need to make a big move and, and do something else. Uh, or, or whatever the reason, but the point is, their leaders already experienced, they've gotten results. Some are six figure, some are seven figure earners. And what happens is that the, you start shifting to the third phase. And the third phase is when you start recruiting people who are experienced, who are six and seven figure earners in network marketing. And that's when your business really takes off. And the reason they're joining you is because they might, might have built their business in an old school way or, or without the leverage that you have now and they want to learn what you have. They already know old school network marketing. They don't need to join another old school networker, you know, mm. to, because that's not what they want. What they're attracted to is that you have this unique skill set called attraction marketing. And so when I was uh, three years into my network marketing career using attraction marketing, I personally recruited three seven figure earners into my organization wow. in addition to a lot of other networkers. Recently, uh, Brandy Shaver, uh, recruited two six-figure earners and one seven-figure earner, and Brandy started with us a couple of years ago, less than less than two years ago, and and has created multiple six figures in addition to recruiting leaders onto our team. Wade and Carrie Hyam, uh, they personally recruited four six-figure earners into their organization and created multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars in income over the past year and a half, two years using attraction marketing mm. and, and uh, Julie Burke, another one of our uh, awesome students and leaders in our community, um, just to this past December, we're in May now. So uh, this past December, she joined a new company. So she had prior success in network marketing, but hadn't really developed her brand. And for, you know, things happened with her company where she, she needed to resign. Uh, so she, she was no longer, it was no longer a fit for her and she wasn't going to be beholden to money. So she resigned. But the cool thing is that she, we had, over the past year, we had walked her through the process of building her brand, going mm. from stage one, stage two, and then, and then what ended up happening is she joined a new company after a little bit of a hiatus. But because she had built a brand uh, over the course of those five months from December to May, maybe six months now, she's personally recruited seven six-figure earners and four seven-figure earners during that period of time because she had a brand and a lot of the people following her were people that already had experience in network marketing. So that's the power of network marketing. I'm not saying you guys are all going to be recruiting uh, top earners, uh, you know, tomorrow, but that's the potential. Like when you build your brand, you're naturally going to attract other leaders. If people are following you, you're a leader and leaders are attracted to leaders. And that's ultimately what we're trying to do here. Yeah, and I can't express that um, importance of building um, a brand. And please tune in with me next week, guys, because I'm releasing something regarding branding that can really help you. And I know you might be sitting there thinking, oh, all those phases are really daunting. I can't achieve all that. But when I look at my career in the corporate world, how many years I went to university, how many years it took me to get to, get to the general manager sort of position, and what I've learned in the last year, year and a half with attraction marketing, like it seems like a lot on the surface of it, but you can learn a lot in a short space of time and achieve a lot more than you even comprehend that you could achieve. You've just got to give yourself the time 
uh-huh. and the energy to learn new skills. That's all it is. You're just learning new skills. But I would yeah. rather take a few years to learn a few skills to be set for the rest of my life than what I've done in the past in years and years and years at university and climbing through the corporate ladder to just maybe get a decent wage. Um, you know, it may seem daunting, but it really is a powerful. Um, yeah, power. it, the only reason it's daunting is because it's just a different skill set. That's right. That you previously didn't know before. That's right. And uh, and just like anything, like the reason I, the reason I, I call it a train wheels phase in the beginning, it's like riding a bike. When you first learn to ride a bike, you use training wheels, and usually there's somebody there to help you. Eventually, the training wheels come off. Yeah. When the training wheels come off, you're not a master bike rider. You're not. Yeah. doing stunts on a BMX bike or, you know, jumping ramps, you're able to just now stay balanced. And then, but think about those people that eventually, you know, compete in X Games and are doing these stunts on a bike and flipping around in the air and all these, all these, uh, you know, cool things you're able to do. They started at one point with training wheels, you know, with their parents. And over time throughout their life, they eventually got to that level of mastery where they can do some pretty superhuman things on a, on a bike, mm. but they practice, they practice over and over again. The awesome thing is that attraction marketing is nowhere near as hard as that. Attraction marketing is nowhere near as hard as anything that we might have done professionally. I was an engineer prior. Uh, I'll tell you this, you know, engineering, especially where I went to school, is immensely more difficult than anything I've ever done in the attraction marketing world. And, uh, you, Ellen, you were in the corporate world as well. I'm sure you worked extremely hard uh, to get ahead there. Mm. It's nowhere near as hard as, as doing that or nowhere near as hard as, uh, you know, being a professional in anything you do. Being an accountant is a lot harder than, than attraction marketing, in my mm. opinion. However, you still got to treat it as if you're learning a new professional skill set because you are. Absolutely. You're just learning. You're learning. You got to respect the skills as if you are going to school to be an engineer. Fortunately, it doesn't take four years. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, put in a uh, focused effort over the course of six months to 12 months and you'll be shocked as to how, how far you progress and the results you produce out of that. Absolutely. And I, I can sort of attest to that with my journey in the last year. And um, if you're willing to learn take action, find a mentor, find a system, you're coachable, you listen to, you know, what other people say and, and you know, have somebody to guide you along the way. This is achievable for, for anyone. So I look yeah, forward to having... Find this lady right here. <laughs> I look forward yeah. to having a conversation with you, Fernie, in a number of years saying, I got to 20 million too. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> never say never. Um, but we've, um, please, if you're still on with us live or even on the replay, please send Fernie some likes and loves um, just to thank him for everything that he's shared with us. Hey, Alicia, nice to see you. Thanks for joining us live. Um, I'm, I'm um, you know, just privileged to have you here and share all of that, you know, with us, Fernie. I should have pointed out in the beginning, um, Fernie is not only Chief Marketing Officer um, of the um, mentorship company that I'm, you know, in, involved with and learn from Fernie Elite Marketing Pro, but he's also the founder of a, the biggest um, sort of summit conference in the world coming up in June for network marketers and teaching us all. I'll be there. I'm traveling, um, you know, over there for it, teaching us the most modern sort of skills in the online world and the digital world to shift your business from, you know, the pains and struggles of traditional network marketing to the online world. Um, so I know you must be really busy gearing up for that, Fernie, but I really look forward to seeing you in Las Vegas in June. Any of you got the opportunity to attend, um, you know, it's called the No Excuses Summit. If you'd like some information on that, just put the letters NES down below and I'll get some information over um, to you for that because it's an, it's, I went last year and I was just blown away. So thank you for everything you do for this profession, Fernie, and putting something together like that and bringing all these six, seven and eight figure earners together in the one room, teaching us the modern way to build our business online so we can achieve what you've achieved. Um, so without people like you in this profession sharing that kind of knowledge and putting those kind of things together, we would be at a loss. So, um, you know, thank you. Yeah. My pleasure. Uh, you know, for me, you know, I think there's so many events in the network marketing space. Unfortunately, most of those events, especially if they're old school themed, uh, kind of 
tend to not believe in us very much. You know, they, they're afraid that they're afraid to, to talk about what's cutting edge and working uh, because they're afraid to scare you. They're afraid to scare uh, people away. It's not duplicatable, or whatever. If it's you know, if a monkey can't do it, uh, don't teach it because it's not duplicatable. I have the completely opposite philosophy. I have faith in, in people and their ability to learn something and learn a skill. And and really, it, how how dumb is it to believe that you can earn a six figure income in something and not have to learn anything? Yeah. So that's the message that's being perpetuated by so many people in the network marketing space. And I'm the opposite. We're here to teach you what's cutting edge. We're here to teach you what your upline is afraid that you might learn. <laughs> yeah. um, and, uh, and I make no apologies for that because of the lives that we transform. Uh, is it, is our method, are our methods approved by every network marketing company uh, or leader? Hell no. And that's what makes them awesome because that means we're at the cutting edge. When other people are resisting change and you're the only one that's advocating for change, you're on the right path. And these methods are proven. It's not like they came in to existence last week. 1999. People in network marketing have been concealing, intentionally hiding, holding back these uh, these strategies and this philosophy since 1999. And my mentor, Tim Irway, was building his network marketing organization since 2002. This has been around for a long time, and it's been proven. And uh, hopefully you, you have the ambition, just like I, I once did, uh, to kind of take a different path and learn something that's truly cutting edge. Uh, that's leverage, that's more pleasant, and just a lot more fun than anything the old school world can offer. Yeah, and please appreciate the value of what Fernie just said there. If you're watching live or on the, on the replay, this is at the cutting edge. There will be uplines that tell you don't do this. There will be uplines that say, no, post on your personal Facebook page five times a day. That's how you're going to get people to listen to you. <laughs> you know, there, there are going to be people that don't agree with this journey. And, um, you know, I, I just, I look into the future, Fernie, and I see in a few, only a few years time, everyone that's not quite there yet, they're all going to be trying to be branding themselves online. They're all going to get on the bandwagon of attraction marketing and they're probably going to be too late because there's people like me and all the people listening here that are, were 10 steps ahead of them and, uh, you know, have really sort of grasped it early. So I, we've gone way longer than I intended to keep you, Fernie, and I know you're not 100%. So, um, you know, I appreciate you staying on this long with me and sharing um, you know, all your wisdom. Please thank Fernie for being with us for this long, um, guys. Um, just for those of you listening and on the replay, if you're not familiar with attraction marketing and you would like some support and some free training, just put the word training below in the comments section. If you would like to take that a little bit further and, you know, Fernie talked about a system, a formula, something that you can follow, it's just learning new skills, then just put the word, um, you know, formula down below and I can send you across something, you know, a, you know, an introduction to a system and a formula that can give you sort of the, the beginning steps to start your attraction marketing journey. Um, so some help there for you if, if that's what you're looking for. Um, so thanks again, um, Fernie. I really look forward to seeing you in Vegas only a few weeks away. Um, yeah. And yeah, seeing um, everybody over there. So Thanks for everyone that have joined us and stayed with us this, um, you know, whole time. Thanks, Catherine. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Emmy. Appreciate you being here and, um, you know, listening listening to Fernie's words of wisdom, the legend that you are. <laughs> so, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll send you the $20. I okay, okay. No worries. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Take Thanks, care. Fernie. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Bye. It's not ending. <laughs> uh, I think we just leave the meeting. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm clicking on it.